good morning everyone i have been given 7 minute to discuss this uh, paper so let's start uh, uh, this is a randomized control trial comparing follow up of uh, operated nsclc patients with chest x ray and ct scan versus chest x ray alone history and physical examinations were in both group so what is the concept why do we need a follow up it is to detect recurrence in a earlier stage so that it can be salvaged and detect a second primary so that it can be cured uh, if we go um, in a uh, historical evidences this is a paper in published in 2013 this has seen seven more most important papers with significant number of patients and they found that the local recurrence alone ranges from around 8 to 15% in a operated nsclc patient and obviously as the stage advances a uh, percentage of local recurrence also increases this is a paper published in 2015 from mskcc which says that in stage 3a around more than 50% of patient will develop recurrence 85% were distant so only 15% of patients 15% of patient had a local recurrence whereas in early stage 20% will develop recurrence out of which 25% around 25 to 26% are local and ct surveillance is able to detect more number of local recurrences so survival was better in a patients detected with ct scan compared to those who presented in a symptomatic phase uh, this is a, another article which tried to you know personalize follow up to me this looks like little bit ahead of time to implement but what they saw that there is a different in the recurrence peak in male female stages as well as different histologies so what they suggested that there is a bimodal recurrence pattern and it should be focused mainly at the 6 to 8 month and then another peak appears at the 22 to 24 month recent evidences on recurrence we have jacog and calgb which says that 3 to 10% local recurrences even in early stage of diseases another important thing that we have to see for, with follow up is a second primary this is a ca database review from 2004 to 14 and most common second primary in a treated nsclc is again lung and bronchus and the rest of the there are other malignancies also and when there is a second primary prognosis is obviously poor if you see both recurrence and second primary as the time advances uh, incidence of recurrence goes down whereas a second primary increases recommendation most of the uh, important guidelines focus or stress on ct scan but these recommendations are again mainly dependent upon the expert opinion and the single center or retrospective analysis so this is one of the important randomized control trial that looked into this aspect phase 3 open label multi centric trial enrolled patient from 2005 to 2012 two groups were there chest x ray clinical and physical examination uh, another group was ct based follow up that is cct chest chest x ray fob fiber optic bronchoscopy and again examination and history randomized after 8 weeks of surgery and there was different stratification factors they looked into primary out their primary endpoint was overall survival whereas secondary endpoint was tfs there are other secondary endpoint uh, that is survival after recurrence or second primary what is the quality of life and cost effectiveness of this follow up and the results of these are awaited if you see statistical analysis they thought that there will be around 7.5% of difference in overall survival in both group at 3 years of follow up estimated 3 year os they calculated will be around 40% in minimal follow up group but this was changed because most of the patients were in earlier stage and then they changed this 40% to 68% they uh, expected that to be 68% it was intention to treat analysis 1775 patient enrolled equally in both groups most of the patient characteristics were well matched if you see intention to treat analysis os and dfs that is overall survival and disease free survival did not differ at all in both group ct scan or minimal uh, follow up group even per protocol basis there was no difference in os or dfs if you see a result into uh, a little bit in depth then what they said that in a ct scan group 32 per 32 Uh, percentage of patient developed recurrence whereas uh, and uh, 56% were symptomatic whereas in chest x ray there were 27% recurrences and most of them were symptomatic that is 82.5 so what they said that in ct scan we are able you, we, you, we are able to diagnose more of a, a symptomatic recurrences ct scan surgery could be implemented in 10.3% of recurrences whereas radical therapy for second primary was 29% which was significantly higher compared to those seen in the chest x ray group but obviously there was no di difference in os or dfs so what they suggested that ct scan in ct scan group there is a higher proportion of asymptomatic recurrences higher proportion of second primaries and they can be salvaged also because they presented in a earlier stage 
but they were not powered enough to show overall survival difference. If we see strength of this trial, it is a, one of the only randomized controlled trial looking into this aspect with 90% of compliance. Median follow-up was, was very good, that is 7.2 years, and there is a robust data on recurrence as well as second primary. If we look at the weakness of this trial, there, was, uh, there were higher proportion of earlier stage, that is stage 1 and 2. This study started somewhere in 2015, that is almost 17 years prior to the uh, current era, and the treatment strategies have changed significantly. There was no central committee uh, responsible for radiology review, and criteria for follow-up of pulmonary nodules were also not clearly mentioned in the protocol, and there was significant crossover. So, conclude, so to conclude, I'll say that CT scan, this is my personal opinion, CT scan is obviously more sensitive, but yes, it is associated with more of a false positive, and that false positive may be a little bit higher in a developing country compared to the uh, uh, other places. And there is a significant advancement in the treatment. What was there in 2005 has almost completely changed what is there in 2022. If patient present with the recurrence, either it is local or distant, and if we diagnose in an asymptomatic stage, that is earlier stage, treatment can be started and they will tolerate treatment better and I think outcome will also be better. But there are some problems also with CTs can follow up. We do not know what will be the cost effectiveness of this and obviously false positive. To implement it uh, in uh, our country, I think we need uh, more robust evidence. Thank you.